This project is a freehand router carving. I wanted to test out a couple of things. First, a new bit. Second, a new, new to me, router. And lastly, how does this uh, nicer plywood react to being carved? I started out my project using transfer paper, just a simple carbon copy that would get my template onto the work. From there, I went over it with a darker marker in order to help me see the lines while I was routing. The carving is a tribute to the 1998 album version 2.0 by the band Garbage. Every year, there's a woodworker maker collaboration called Makers Rock, where album covers are reproduced. This is my first time joining in the fun. There's a playlist down in the description for all of the other makers and, and the album covers that they have covered. I wanted to outline the lettering first. That way, I'd know exactly how much space to leave around the words. And of course, if I screw it up on the hard part, I can always just grab a new piece of wood and restart without losing too much time and, and effort. I'm not sure how old this router is, but it has to be around the same age as the album itself. I like that it has light, when, when you're cruising around and routing, that really helps with the visibility. The bit that I'm using is a quarter inch router bit with a 60 degree tip on it, and I'm really happy with how well that worked out. It really cuts a nice clean line, and it's just very defined, and any depth discrepancy is a lot less apparent than it is with uh, my flat bottom bits that I've used on previous um, router carvings. I did notice that there's some side-to-side -side play in this plunge router. It's not quite enough to you know, cause alarm or frustration or ruin the piece, but it, it is you know, just a little bit that you have to be more careful when you don't have it locked down. And between that and then the collet only accepts a quarter inch router bit. It doesn't accept a larger, you know, more stable one. So with those two things, I'll probably stick with my newer, my main router in the future and keep this one as a backup. When it came to the background of this piece, I'm not quite happy with, with how these lines look. You know, next time I'd probably even carve it out with a, um, with flatter bits or kind of a, a wider, blunter angle on the bit. Just really these, these squares, um, I don't know, something to kind of give it a more organic, beveled look, rather than kind of this amateur hour, like, grid thing that I've got going on that kind of makes it look like a page from a middle schooler's notebook or something. But, I don't know, possibly treating each one of these little bubbles as, as an individual pillow and, you know, trace around those, rather than a series of lines. Oh well, too soon old, too late smart. Now I had intended to use acrylic paints on this, but somewhere along the line I decided to experiment with watercolor, see how that would go on, how would the wood absorb the, the colors, how would it, would it show through the grain, just what would that look like. Of course I'd use the dark green marker that I had to sand off, so that was kind of, duh, one of those moments. After getting the watercolor on and letting it dry, I used a couple of coats of spray-on polyurethane to really lock in the colors. And here's the results. Router bit with 60 degree tip. Yes, it worked great for details. Absolutely, I'd use that again. The router testing, it's okay. It's not great. I'll keep it as a backup. And the, the nicer plywood, that worked great as well. I didn't really go in deeper than the top layer but I was really happy with how well it, it, it carved. And the bonus test was, of course, the watercolor. That worked out really well. Finding the right brush for me was kind of a clumsy process as I was trying to get in the surface and get more into the, you know, the depths uh, where the details were. That part was a little bit clunky, but other than that, it, it seemed to work well. So that's it for this video. I've got more freehand routing projects that I've done that you know, I think came out better, but I've, I've made some signs and that sort of thing in the past. So go ahead and check uh, in in the, um, what's that thing called? The description box. Check the description box below. Do me a big one up and punch subscribe and you'll be a hero. And that's that's what I got. Thanks. Oh, oh, that's not all I have. This is also a giveaway. 
So if you want it, um, there's also a link in the description. Okay, bye. For real, this time.